Hi, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk to you about these multi-service paint pens that I got on Amazon. Um, so I have, I'm a Prime member so shipping is free. But besides that, they were $9.50. And um, let me see each pen... It doesn't really say, but uh, they are extra fine point, which is awesome, and um, also a water-based ink, so it's not thick. It's easy to work with, um, and it wouldn't be any different than an acrylic paint that you, um, you know, like an acrylic paint that you would put out on a palette like I do and then mix it with a little bit of water and then poof. So instead of doing that, and I'm not going to, I'm not, I'll always, always, always go back to my acrylic paints, but for fine work and stuff, and I was thinking even when we are out on the bus, um, then I could use these to do my rock art. I'm having like, I'm loving this stuff. So anyway. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to demo a few things. So, box came in overnight. And I may have ordered it early enough in the day from Amazon, but it did come, uh, overnight. Look how cute. I think I'm going to get this up. I think I did a video. Anyway. Um, anyway, so... So, 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 um, what am I going to say here? There's 12 markers in the box, and they are a variety of colors. Um, here, did I tell you they were $9.50? $9.50. Okay, um, so here's all the colors. And when they came out of the box, they were each individually wrapped. So I just twisted it until it opened on the, like that. And I mean, that's easy as pie to get open, but also a perfect protection if, if not. So, um, I have a perfect card from a friend of mine, but I'm just going to use the back of this so that we can... Um, how about the inside? So we can see if it writes on a card stock as well. So I'm going to put that like right here. Also, um, you can do minor cleanups or a full, like if you did a whole nail and you didn't like it, um, acid, or not acetone, um, alcohol, uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol. I suppose vodka would work too, but anyway, um, yeah, it's so purple alcohol. So, I just twisted it, got it off, threw it away. The instructions say, oh, let's see, it's a multi-surface, quick drying, water-based ink, non-toxic. That's rolling around the bottom right there. Okay, so, we're going to shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your paint pen. Sorry, that was kind of funny. Ha. Huh. That was a minor pause for the cause. I had to drink more coffee. All right, so shake, shake, shake. We did that. Then it says to push on the, the pen straight down. So, um... I don't know how to show you this. Um, here, I'm going to do it right here. So, with every push, you can see more paint coming to the tip. There we go. It's coming out. Oh, it writes great on cardstock, by the way. Yeah, it's easily... You can guide it. Oh, love, love. Okay, and um, so we know it works on this. I wanted to 
which just um we'll just do like a quick flower or something um yeah so we'll just do this real fast it's actually writing quite well i keep rings and peelies and things i want in this little secret this my secret box um let's see <clears throat> i'm gonna write on it's kind of funny when i found this rock i thought immediately of a north south east west kind of thing so um i'm gonna push down again because it may have i don't think you have to do that every time i suppose i'll find out but um see like small on the rock i can get that end done in in a pretty good so that's north and then of course this would be south um yeah that's a that's a dream to write with on a rock all right so let's get down to the naked details never naked details um probably the wrong color let me recap this and i think i'm going to store them standing up um i don't really want all of the ink or all of the paint to leak out the top i hope that's a good thought but if not so here's a black one and a shaky shake 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 your paint pin. Uh, so, what the heck? Um, the brand is Paint Tigs Pentigo Shades of a Rainbow. Um, I will leave a link to this down in the description, and here's also like. Um, there you go. So now I could come back probably, you know, with a stamp or something. And if I wanted to stamp over this, write over this, you know, I could just, I don't even know. I could take, take it one step further. What I probably would do first of all is buff the surface of this. And so because there's lines in here and... Things that will, you know what I mean? It's endless. That was cute. Anyway, so that's that, guys. Um, give me a second. I'm going to go away. I'm going to pick up an image on a stamper and see if we can't color it in. I'll be right back. I mean, you know, use these pins to fill it in reverse stamp hang on okay so um pretty self-explanatory here i just um put a quick little scribble on the back of this card and this is like a shiny um like the back of a a birthday card or you know whatever holiday card anyway it does dry pretty fast and what I did here in the black one is I just drew a couple white lines through that. And this is the white here. And it's pretty opaque. The black isn't, it's not completely gone. But if you were to go over it maybe one more time, it would get rid of that. But yeah, so um, I picked this image up off of uh, one of my plates. Let's not even worry about that. And, um, I have a, a Maniology smudge-free top coat on it. So that's what you're seeing around the edges. Um, just quick, I'm gonna pull one and just, I want to, I haven't put them to this much of a test. Which is kind of funny. Um, you know, I wanted to give a... A video and like I said I'll leave the link down below uh, to Amazon 
um, 950 guys. These are like, you could throw these in your purse. You could, you know, easily take this mini on a, you know, I don't want to say vacation or whatever. You could just throw them in your makeup case. And then if you wanted to do something, you know, small with your nails or, you know, even dress up, even a color street, you could dress up. Um, it actually got in the blue and I didn't want to. Now some of them are green. But that's the other thing I was going to say is if you get another color on that tip, make sure you, you know, go back and wipe it. Um, I'm sure you could, like, push down on it one more time. And so, yeah, this right here got muddled with blue. But it's all right. We're going to... We're going to keep going. It's not that bad. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just coloring these in just, um, you know, as I would with an acrylic paint on a palette. And, I mean, you guys see me do it messy. I'm messy. But I, I recycle plastic lids. So, and again, um, I just take the small ones with me. Um, I grab, like, maybe five or six and this is what I would do um if I was you know hitting the road again um I will take these pins for sure and um you, you really can't get a mix you know what I'm saying um I don't want to um completely work out my or not use my acrylic paints that I get, you know, the other ones. Because there's colors I want to mix and, you know, there's little things you want to do. Um, but you could do both. Um, oh my gosh, look how bright that is. How freaking cute. And that took me how long? Hmm, I don't know. Not very long. So, what do you guys think? Give me uh, your thoughts down in the description box. And, you know, tell me what's going on. Uh, so, this one, I think it's not completely dry in a couple spots. But, holy, look how cute. Oh, that's perfect. Anyway, let's see. It's pretty much good now. I'm trying to use a white. Sorry. This one's um, skinnier than it is whiter, so we'll turn it this way. I'm just going to get a little bit of the edge, which I probably shouldn't have. But that's okay. I didn't think it was going to fit. So whatever. Look at that, guys. And you didn't even have to get out the water. Water marbling. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me know. Down in the description. I'm I'm excited to have these with them working on multi surfaces. Um, give me your thoughts down below. What are you thinking? That was easy. I'm impressed. So, um, thanks for spending your time with me today. I hope if you are in the um, if you've been wanting to get a couple or some, you know, a good paint set. The orange went batshit crazy. What happened? Again, thanks for spending your time with me today. And if you wouldn't mind um, 
if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button on your way out. Like, bell, YouTube stuff. Okay? Oh, good. And uh, don't forget to smile at the grumpy. Use your eyes.